Those security assholes nabbed me. Please, have a heart. You need to help me. Thank you. Oh God, I gotta admit, I've lost my job. I've lost my creds, and if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose every- Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded, he'll take care of you. Oh, man, you must still got space dust between your ears. Yannick Legrand's got the best booze and refreshments outside of the Astral Lounge. And unlike Astral, it's priced for real people, not just corporate heels. And he's the maker of blends, so he's the man. In a kind of punch-your-face sort of way. You are a regular lifesaver. You're solid. My crate's on block O2, in Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there, everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's... some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do better. I have a lot of crates ready for you. How long will you be staying? Enjoy your stay, or try to, at least. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are reputable. Good for you. You can at least get some privacy that way. No weird stains save the ones you spill. And it just so happens we have a deluxe shipping crate that recently came on the market. Built for cargo, redesigned for people. Just the thing for a minimalist like yourself. Back to work, I guess. I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do better. You have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. I might even throw in a thank you. You look like the type that might appreciate it. I got it, I got it. And... Authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump. Might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. Uh, you're welcome? That's what you say back, right?
I'm so lucky to wake up every day to someone like you. I'm all for getting a little wild, but next time let's try it without the jetpacks. Get any rest? I sure didn't. Crazy. Try it in zero G sometime. One of these days, we need to actually get some sleep after going to bed. Do we have to get up already?
city. But I don't see people with statues. Bet I have credits to spend. You lost, kiddo. Sure, sure. I just don't get too many quality... Most folks head over to Newell's or the Emporium if they've got the creds. I'd say less than half my customers are legit. The others... Yeah, well, make it quick. I ain't a fan of... I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while. These days, if you ain't a regular, you use. We'll see about that. Just the usual. Mostly tied up in those good-for-nothing gangs. Those disciples and strikers always fighting over who gets to run the place. And not giving a damn over whose lives they ruin. Solomon thought a small convenience store with cheaper prices would make a killing. Of course, the only killing made was when he got himself shot in a robbery. Now it's just me running this place, so you can see why I'm not a huge fan of strangers in my shop. Come again. Careful around here. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight, but it's home. If you're struggling, sleep crates are the budget accommodation choice of Neon. It's tight, it's got a smell that's an acquired taste. If you're in the market for a sleep crate, they sadly sell themselves because they're very, very cheap. That they do. It's the families that really get me. And when those families can no longer even afford a sleep crate, well, that's just my favorite. I got loads of crates for rent. For next time. today. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than re- <laughs> That's the first thing that all of- My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest- Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. That's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? You mean the stuff Bayou leaves out of the brochures? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you noticed that little thing? Yeah, that's Bayou's crown jewel. First of all, you have the Astral Lounge, flowing with Aurora, attracting every tourist within light years of Oli. Then you have exorbitantly priced offices for every megacorp, besides Ryuji. And like the cherry at the top of his ego Sunday, Bayou's got his private penthouse. I don't know. Neon has four main districts. The ones where Bayou wants you to spend your credits are Bayou Plaza, and those are the glitzy parts of town. Bayou Plaza is the section outside my doors, from the Trade Tower to the Ikuchi Market runs from the Starport Terminal to Ryujin Tower. Not quite as glamorous as the plaza. Then there's Upside, running the perimeter of the upper platform. Probably not the best spot. Finally, you have the Underbelly, the working class's domain under our feet. Not much down there, but industry and a few. No, I don't think so. Ebside's filled with a few decent clubs, like Madame Salvage's Place and Euphorica. Just watch your back. It's gang territory, which means Neon Security tends to ignore what goes on. Most of the underbelly is taken up by Xenofresh and Jennerdyne's facilities, but there are a few hidden gems you might want to check out. Actually, I'd recommend checking out Offworld Eats. Cosmos and Lee run that place. They're a couple of great guys. Sounds good. Let me know if you need. Maybe after you've rented a room for a few nights, I might let you in on my secret. For now, it'll just have to remain a mystery. Sorry. I just need some time to see if I can trust you. I'm sure you understand. Enjoy your visit to Neon. Our beds are comfortable and affordable, and with a crime rating of only 16%, your safety is Frank Renix all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? Nah, I'm feeling a little burnt out. I think I need a break. How about hitting welcome the Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters! Hit the span. You know... Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters! Everything you need to explore the settled system. You bring the chunks. It's a date. The question should really be, what do- We carry a wide assortment of equipment perfectly suitable for stellar exploration. I can promise you, I'm not just using hype. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my- So take your time, look around, ask me questions. Thank you for noticing. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, this is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal. You'd think that, right? Unfortunately, I'm barely scraping by. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself? Absolutely! Here's everything I current.
We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. I have something I need to discuss with you. Paradiso. Good. All this time we thought he was just being some miserable hermit on Kila. Ah, customer. Feel free to spend your credits. Or get the hell. Yeah? You need something? If you're here for blend, I just had a new badge. Huh? Okay, suit yourself, but you... Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take... As soon as word gets out, blend is back in stock. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nasher. I see the family resemblance. I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me... Yannick's no one's mark. Oh, really? Huh. Fascinating. So Nasher came through. Eh, might be he's less crappy than I... <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up, I take the creds. I am known far and wide for my job. Yes, yes. He is loyal. Loyal. You look like talent. Serious talent. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick Blend. Uh, the kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new... Ah, <laughs> and smart. Uh, I like you. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astral Lounge. And really, if the Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, it's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayo finds out you're selling it on the streets. But so far, I have outsmarted. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the girl. Now you do. So I have a proposal, yes? Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes. But he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, the Felix Sadler, makes ne I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him. And you become very valuable to Yannick. You don't get ahead in life playing it safe. Felix is in a warehouse in Ebside. Consider the job offer open. Think about all those lonely credits that want to... Yeah. What's up? So, I've given everything we've discussed a lot of thought, and I've decided I'd like Aja Mamasa to conduct our marriage ceremony. You're kidding, right? She was the former chair of Constellation? The one that passed the torch to me about five years ago? 
<laughs> We've talked about it before. Come on, stay with me. I knew you'd understand. So, with that settled, I suppose we just keep it a quiet ceremony? Just the two of us? Honestly, no. I respect everyone at Constellation, but this is part of my personal life. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to keep my personal feelings about us separate from Constellation. All right, it's settled then. I'll send a message to Aja, asking for her to preside over the ceremony. As soon as you're ready, let's head to Paradiso. <laughs> I can't tell you how much this means to me. I love you. Ah, here for some bread? Can't blame you. Best drink in the settled systems. Nah, no, not today. Picking up some. Like you've got some fines to clear up. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property. Those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you. Anything I can help you with? Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, how about it? I'm sure you can find something.
Okay, no problem. Got something for you right here. Nice to see you. Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down.
Greetings, pilot. This is Jiro Sugiyama, head of Paradiso Security. I apologize for coming over this emergency channel, but we are in need of assistance concerning the large ship in orbit, and we value discretion in this matter. As we were landing, I picked up a message from Aja. She said to meet us at the park overlooking the ocean. Before we go to the ceremony, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me this is exactly what you want. Ah, oh, I just melt when I hear you say things like that to me. I love you, and I'm forever thankful to have someone as amazing as you in my life. Now come on, Aja is waiting for us. Hey, you need something? Ah, I never tire of visiting worlds like this. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something? Stay safe. You think we'd be a prime target for pirates, but they know to stay away for the most part. Sorry. It's okay, Vietor. I know you're programmed to be overly concerned with your service. I just wanted to know why, but thank you for crediting my account anyway.
You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. Join yourself. Take their places. It's so lovely to see you, Sarah. Wonderful to see you too, Aja. This is the one I told you about. I've heard a lot about you. All of it good. You're quite a catch. Ten seconds in and already you're embarrassing everyone. Before we go any further, I just want to make sure that you are right for Sarah. She's quite special, hmm? God, now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> That's called love, my dear. You better get used to it. Well, I've seen enough. I can read people the moment I lay eyes on them. And you, you're going to make Sarah quite happy. Coming from you, Aja, that means a lot. Of course, Sarah. You know I always look out for you. Now. Are we ready to begin the ceremony? Very well. If everyone's ready, then I'll begin. It's been years since Sarah Morgan and I have spoken. And though it might appear that we've grown apart, I feel that we've become closer friends than ever before. When I received the message with Sarah's intent to marry, and that she wanted me to officiate the ceremony. <laughs> I was overwhelmed with joy, not because she had decided to rekindle our friendship, but because she was allowing me to share the happiest moment of her life. I can't imagine a greater honor. And for that, Sarah, I thank you. I wouldn't have had it any other way, Aja. Before you present your vows, I'd ask both of you to remember that love is what brought you together today. It is a foundation upon which a structure of trust, faith, and affirmation is built. This structure can be absolutely impenetrable if you both agree to love each other unconditionally with faith, devotion, and acceptance. And most importantly, to allow yourself to be loved. Remember, there are no other bonds more meaningful than the one you are undertaking today. You should cherish this moment and hold it close to your hearts as a reminder of the love you share. If you both are willing to abide by these words, then you can be assured that your lives will be filled with joy and happiness forever. That was beautiful, Asha. Thank you. Did you need a moment, Sarah? No. No, I'm fine. But I wanted to say something before you continue. When we stood beside that waterfall in New Atlantis, you told me that I needed to forget the past 
and focus on what I have right now. I swear, with every fiber of my being, that the past will no longer be an obstacle in my life. And I will honor your words by focusing my affection on the most important thing in my life. You, this is my solemn pledge to you. From deep within my heart, from deep within my soul, for all eternity. And you? Did you have anything you wanted to say to Sarah? I know it will. <laughs> oh. oh, you're going to make me cry. You had a gift, Sarah? Yes. I wanted you to have this as a token of our love. I'm giving this to you as a symbol of the clean break I've made from my past. Oh, it would have been impossible without your help. And for that, I'll be forever grateful. With these promises of affection and these vows you've exchanged, by the power vested in me by the Articles of Constellation, I happily pronounce you life mates. Congratulations! Aja, I don't know what to say. That was... Oh, amazing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having the ceremony without you. I'm glad everything worked out for you, Sara. I'm only sorry that we waited so long to reach out and contact one another. You better. Otherwise, I'd have to come out of retirement and hunt you down. <laughs> well, you're both welcome to stay here for as long as you like. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. I wish the both of you a happy and healthy life together. I'll never forget this, Aja. Thank you. I'm happy to host Abigail here at my home. She's quite charming. Don't worry. It was a wonderful wedding. I was so happy to officiate for you. I was chair of Constellation for 35 years. I was there for all the low points and all the high. I kept Constellation out of the colony war, made some incredible discoveries, and recruited some of the most amazing explorers in the settled systems. I just finally reached a point where I felt I'd done enough. And it was time to give Saba a chance. And I have no regrets either. If you're expecting controversy or some sort of political reason, I can assure you, it doesn't exist. And between you and me, I'm not getting any younger, eh? <laughs> and this tired... You have to ask? Look at the place. It's absolute paradise. I can spend my day at the beach, relax with a cool drink and get up on some reading, enjoy the cuisine, whatever my heart desires. I haven't even traveled off world since I arrived. Hell, <laughs> I haven't even bought. Moving to Paradiso was one of the best decisions I made in my entire life. <laughs> she was a royal pain in the butt. 
that what she was, hmm? Hot-headed, impulsive, eager to rush into things without examining the ramifications, eh? Honestly, a lot like I was at her age. <laughs> All in all, though, she was one of the best explorers. That woman has a good head on her shoulders. You should count yourself lucky to be a part of her life. Have a truly pleasant day. The two of us make quite the pair, eh? Fishing for a handout, eh? <laughs> Sure, go ahead. No, we done talking already. What's happening, darling? You aren't simply my partner for life. You're my soulmate. We were meant to be together. If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. Well, hello, sunshine. Only if it's going to make me smile. I feel so lucky to be with someone like you. Oh, I love our little chats. You know how to make a woman feel special. Expecting to cliff dive today. Hey there. I shouldn't be telling you this, but don't order the six prawn delight. Just the beach, the sand, the sound of the ocean. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Some of our guests think everything is complimentary. I've seen people walk away with towels, silverware, you name it. Can't wait for my shift to be over so I can relax like a guest. Yet another nice day in parody, so they're all nice days, I guess.
Troubles you need to share? Hmm, maybe if you're lucky, we'll talk again later. Now we see how the working class lives around here. You can dress it up however you like, but a Chunks by any other name is still a Chunks. Hello, hello. Welcome to Chunks. If this is your first time dining with us at this location, please don't hesitate to ask if there's anything I can do to make your Chunks experience. Sure. What can I get? Thanks for visiting Chunks. Welcome to Paradiso. Hello, welcome to Hotel Paradiso. You may continue inside to the main desk if you need to check in for your stay or feel free to browse the shop. Let me know if I can answer any questions you may have, or help you in any other way. For that, you'll want to head inside, go to the main desk, and speak with Dirk. He'll be more than happy to guide you through the chat. Ah, oh, this is your first time here. That's exactly what it is. Paradiso prides itself on being the fan. People from all over come here to bask in the sun, enjoy the all-natural beaches, explore, enjoy the local wildlife, and generally get pampered. Unfortunately, the beach is reserved for hotel guests only. The Paradiso Group owns all land on Parima too, so you must either be a resort guest or have But, and you didn't hear this from me, security rarely has the bandwidth to patrol Enjoy your stay at Paradiso. Oh, this looks like a lovely place for a stay. Might also be the perfect time to stop for some food or a tranquility. Where should we begin? <sighs> Another lost belonging notification in the system. Oh dear, a guest. Dreadfully sorry you had to hear my complaint. How unprofessional of me. Hello, welcome to Paradiso. Dirk Huddleston at your service. Do you need assistance checking?
Hmm. Very well. I can't guarantee we have any premium rooms available at the moment, but if you're still interested, we may have other rooms. Ah, Parima 2 is owned independently by the Paradiso Group. We exist outside of the United Colonies and Freestar Collective, yet entertain visitors from both. The Paradiso Group is run by several board members, many of whom take residence within the resort itself. They established the resort as a getaway for all on the most beautiful planet in the universe, and I can tell you that there were substantial monetary investments to make sure of that. Oh no, you're on vacation. I wouldn't dream of asking a guest to find other guests' lost belongings. But if you want to take a look at the list in the system and you happen to find anything while you're out and about, I suppose it would help me out. Please. Broad question, but I'll try my best. Paradiso is the premier resort destination in the known universe. This planet is as perfect as one could possibly imagine. That is, assuming pristine beaches, constant beautiful sunny weather, and fabulous resort accommodations are to your liking. For one, our hotel rooms are quite luxurious. The executive suite is especially posh, but perpetually booked. However, I must say, even the economy rooms are exceedingly pleasant. You'll find our beach relaxing, and we have several top-notch shops and dining experiences. I particularly enjoy a spot of... Of course, we also have the galaxy's only gourmet chunks. And if you're feeling adventurous, I believe the Enhance is still run... Ah, it would seem we have a vacancy. Quite a nice suite if I do say so myself. Are you looking for the daily rate or the more economical weekly booking rate? Very good. I wish you a pleasant evening. No need to check out in the morning. I hope your stay here is going well. <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop in Covey. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. Yes.
Okay. Thanks for shopping. I hope you had as much fun as I did. 